We're back with Florence and the Machine inside the Channel 93.3 garage, thanks to Tennyson Center for Children. Tonight, playing at the Wells Fargo Theater. For those of you who went to the show last night, you probably want to see them again tonight. If you missed the show last night, I am telling you, you need to check them out tonight because absolutely phenomenal. So I think uh, you've been nominated for various awards, MTV Video Music Awards, Grammys, the Brit Awards. Did you go into this career with that as being your goal or to just sort of happen? I don't know, because I went into it kind of, not really, we started off a kind of a three-piece, like, punky rockabilly band, and then before then I was just playing with, like, me and acoustic guitar, and then before then I was doing lots of a cappella gigs, so, you know, just clapping my hands and singing wherever I could. Mm -hmm. So it kind of never really, you don't really start out envisioning that it could go to such kind of lofty heights, and it's really um, wonderful to be recognized and to kind of be recognized amongst your peers mm -hmm. but you know you could never imagine you know when it was just me kind of banging on sometimes an upturned bin sometimes a drum <laughs> you know wearing my dad's clothes <laughs> that it could have ever got that far and speaking of style I mean you dress always immaculately do you do your own styling or does somebody help you with that I do on the road and um but we've actually just but I work closely with um a lovely lady called Aldine Johnson who I've known for years and she kind of we got introduced early on and she's kind of helped me with my stage outfits and we work together on creating kind of costumes for stage and things like that but day to day I dress myself <laughs> <laughs> well you look beautiful you. so the next song shake it out what's the story behind this song um I guess it was done with a kind of a hangover in mind. A hangover in mind. As sometimes songs of mine are. Mm -hmm. And that feeling of kind of old guilt and old demons that hang with you, especially they all seem to collect again, like be reignited with a hangover, with every fresh hangover, kind of old ghosts appear. And um, I think it was the idea of kind of wanting to tear off that layer, you know, to tear off the kind of that feeling of guilt and remorse and kind of give you either not, is it, it's not in a sense of like, being absolved is a sense that maybe that you don't care anymore. <laughs> That's so interesting because like when that song first came out, and this is a personal story, but I went through a horrible breakup. And so for me, it was sort of like, okay, let go of it. This is yeah. the dark part. Now the good part is coming. Like Because I know. think when you get to the lowest mm. and the darkest, I feel so. I do feel in life there has to be a payoff. You know, you have to go through that in order to get to the good parts and appreciate the good yeah. parts once you have them. Well, it's Florence and the Machine inside the Channel ninety three three garage. Here, shake it out. Are we good? Okay, Florence and the Machine inside the Channel ninety three three garage. Thanks to Tennyson Center for Children. Thanks so much for coming by and playing Thanks for us for today. Me. Look forward to the show tonight again. It's at the Wells Fargo Theater and. Hope to see you back in town sometime soon. Thank you so much.